Hello, anybody. I am El Packet Patrol, and this is FTL Fast and Light. Let's run back. <laughs> back with some more FTL Fast and Light. <laughs> yes, and as you can see from the uh, the brain slugged monster uh, across from me, uh, Cameron is in fact here again, which seems to be like a, a running thing. Also, the part of the reason that I wanted Cameron on this episode is because yesterday I put up like a uh, a video uh, where Cameron has butt sex. In case ah. you guys watch that. Um, <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, so I figured, hey, why not put Cam on the, um, on the, uh, on the, on the one. Uh, you know, I kind of want to try one of the cruisers that we never really messed with. I don't like the slug cruiser, to be honest with you, so I probably won't play that. Uh, Mantis might not be a terrible idea. You know what? Let's try Mantis cruiser. Let's do it. You know, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's, let's do, it. do it, Rob. I, I think. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't even need to. I just, I can just bait him into it. No, no, no. You don't even have to bait me. I just say these things whether I'm on Skype or not. You know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you do speak to yourself. Movement speed increase by twenty. Okay, so we're gonna name this uh, the USS. Uh, what's the full name for crabs? Uh, crab. Yeah, the full is name that? for crabs is crab. Yep. No, that's it. All right. Uh. <laughs> Crustaceano. This is a this is an Italian ship. These are all Italian mantises. The USS Crustaceano. What uh, what do we gotta do? Kill the crew of twenty ships by sector six. Okay, that's possible, I suppose. Kill five enemy crew in a fight without taking hull damage or losing a crew member. Uh, not entirely possible. You know, you kill the enemy crew. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's just do this. Uh, and see what's going on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Oh, we do not have much in the way of power. Okay, so let's get two mantis in there. Let's get one in here, uh, and let's get the NG over to the engine room uh, because that's what he does. That's racist. That's true. That is pretty racist of me to say. Uh, He's sending the the NG to the engine room. What is he? Is some stereotype? Just there to just there to amuse you, Rob? What? What am I? What am I? Some kind of clown? What am I there? Am I there to there to there to amuse you? Like a joke? What? Funny. Funny how? Funny funny like what? Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. You're scaring I me. I will not stop. Stop. Um, <laughs> stop stopping. <laughs> stop stopping, Rob. Stop it. Stop it, Ron. Stop. <laughs> God. Have you guys ever so... seen... Uh, you guys should watch the video um, on Oni, Oni NG's channel. Uh the Harry Potter video. Oh god damn it. Uh because it is hilarious. It is very funny. Uh and it's and it's about Harry Potter. And it's good. And kissing. And it's yeah, it's about kissing. Minorly about kissing. Not that much about kissing, but it's Oh wait, no, that's my video series. Right, yes, that's your video series about kissing. Yeah, I did a series about how to kiss boys effectively. Oh. Oh god damn it, there's a fire in our goddamn engine room? Oh, that's terrible. How big is the fire? Hopefully big. It's pretty big, yeah, actually. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll leave you in here. You guys get to the med bay. We need to heal up. Ugh. That sucks that we took uh, engine damage there. That is really, really quite lame, to be honest. Did the NG, did the NG die? No, the NG is totally fine. Oh. Did you, did you want him to die? Yeah, tragedy is always comedy from afar, and I'm quite far away from you right now, so... Is that an actual saying? It's not all... It's I, I don't think the always is in there. <laughs> it seems it seems like a pretty brutal saying, I want to say. <laughs> Let's put that out no there. No matter what, tragedy is comedy from afar. Yeah, it seems pretty dark. Seems like, uh, like a, dark, a dark man would say that. Uh, okay, success. Oh, that's racist again. <laughs> Just full of racism today. I have, hey, maybe I should name this episode Racism. Yeah. Racism. I probably should have fired my basic laser. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep the basic laser on, put off, put on the small bomb. Uh, and actually, you're going to put on, you're going to put on a small bra? Yeah, I'm going to put on a small bra. <laughs> bra. Um, <laughs> because I think that's going to be the best, uh, idea for us. And you gonna dance around in front of the mirror for a little bit? Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask myself in the mirror, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> By the way, side note, in case that just sounds like really creepy, that's a that's a quote from uh, Silence of the Lambs. Just no, no, saying. that's that's a that's a quote <laughs> from your life. Yeah, that's what you. Do. 
Yeah. Silence of the Lambs is what you call your life. That is what I call my life, yes. In fact, uh, we have to get these guys out of here because I didn't realize that they have a med bay. Oh, God, good, 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 God. Good God. Um, yeah, because the problem is right now they have a med bay. Therefore, we cannot fight them. Uh, very effectively. I would really desperately like to leave, however, for some reason our engine, our FTL drive is not charging at all. Oh, it's charging just very slowly. Okay, well, I'll let it charge very slowly while I get our oxygen back online. Uh, we get the small bomb online and hit them in the, uh, med bay at least. Okay, there's I've a whole bridge my, there. I've got my small bra on. Do you? Well. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely necessary uh, it's for much fighting. Too small. It's cutting off circulation to my nipples, which is necessary for you know, living. Right, yes. Your <laughs> nipples breathing. Uh, yeah, that's how I breathe. <laughs> breathe through your nipples? <laughs> yeah, that's that how I get my oxygen. Seems, I want to say that seems somewhat inefficient. No, it, well, see, it just depends on what uh, part of the nipple <laughs> you inhale right. through. Okay, I see. What should we, so which part of the nipple do you inhale, inhale uh, oxygen? God damn it, are you kidding me? Ah, we Mostly can't even fight this thing. The the mouth part. The mouthal region. The mouth of my nipple. Okay, I see. Makes sense. Uh, and by it makes sense, I mean it doesn't really make any sense. Does it make dollars? Um it's very clever, I see what you did there. <laughs> you should you should have you should host your own like comedy show or something. Yeah, yeah. I I think I will actually. Right I now. would open up the doors and vent. Uh, oh God. You know what, Rob? Just vent. Just let it all up. <laughs> just, just let it out. Um, uh, you know, I might as well put auto fire on for right now. I don't know where the other fires are because we can't see because the Mantis Cruiser inexplicably starts without sensors. Which I don't understand the purpose of that. Okay, we're good. Uh, we could actually vent all of the rooms now. Which I will do, except of course uh, for the oxygen room, because that of would course. be stupid. No, that would be smart. You should do it. Should I? Mm, no. Okay. I'm just trying to sabotage you. That makes sense. I could see why. Actually, I can't see why you want to sabotage me. Besides being a d bag. Because I hate you. Isn't that clear? Ah. Yes, that makes more sense then. What about more dollars? No, it doesn't make any more dollars. <laughs> doesn't make any more dollars. Some uh, cents, no dollars. Maybe a penny, maybe a nickel. But a penny, a penny saved is a penny earned. It's a good point. You know, I didn't really <laughs> consider that. I don't know where I was going with that, so I just kind of... I wonder if I could jump out of here. Uh, maybe. Did we jump out without dealing with things? Okay. Uh, we made it to our first store. Yay! And we're alive, kind of. Yay. Okay. Boo. So I could get Butters as a crew member. Which would Butters? be interesting. Someone, uh, Zeradark. Uh, tells me to buy slash upgrade cloaking. That's interesting that you mentioned that while I'm at the shop. Breach Bomb 2 would be pretty good. Who's Zeradarx? I'm not sure, actually, to be honest with you. I'm going to... Oh, heal. oh, actually, that's my mom. Oh, your mom is Zeradarx? Mm-hmm, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was, she was told me to let you know, but I guess she already got to you. Yeah, so she, gonna... she got to me first, yeah. A dangerous, <laughs> dangerous Zeradarx. Uh, okay, well, I guess we have to reject their offer. Even though I would have taken their offer. Um, oh, and by I would have taken their offer, I mean I would not have taken their offer. Hmm, that, Base, it, that doesn't seem like it matches what you said earlier. It doesn't, no, that's true. In fact, I believe that you would consider it to be asymmetrical uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh shit! How is he gonna <laughs> die? No, no, no! I don't want two. I just want one. No, I just want one. Ah! Oh. No, no, no! Run, run, run! Okay, success. And we got a breach bomb mark too, which is what I was gonna get anyway. 
so I don't mind that at all. However, I do mind the fact that Bjorn has, uh, two health. Oh, Bjorn. Yeah. Always, always. It's always doing the this goddamn things. Swedes. <laughs> Every time. I'd like to be a Swede. I would too. I would happily live in Sweden. That would be like the coolest thing. I don't know if it'd be the coolest thing, but it'd be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm sure living on Mars would probably be cooler. Yeah, they're sending a suicide mission to Mars. I, I call it a suicide that's mission. That's true. <laughs> I very highly doubt... For one, I highly doubt that NASA would send anyone on a mission uh, in which they knew the people were going to die. And then secondly, I doubt, even if it were that, that they would name it the suicide mission. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what, just what I call it. But uh, really, right. they're sending uh, people to go live on Mars and study it until they die. And start a colony. When are they doing this? Like 2024. Ah, okay, yeah. That's what I figured. Not, not, not like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I was going to say that, like, I, I doubt we have the kind of resources to uh, to do that currently. But we do have the resources to make sex robots. I don't think we have the resources to make those yet either. Although, what? if we did, then there would be a bajillion sex robots all the time. Everywhere. Hopefully. If not, that would be a sad world where only one man got to have a sex robot and the rest of us just got to cry. Is that what you do regularly? <laughs> just cry. <laughs> you just cry. <laughs> cry about my sex <laughs> robot lackiness. Yes. <laughs> oh, why can't I have a sex robot? No, actually, I'm I'm the lackey of a sex robot. And oh, I cry about wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting cho choice in profession. I w I mean, I suppose uh, I was gonna say that you could be your own boss, but then technically the boss would be the sex robot. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, uh, we could buy a slave. I don't want to fight the slave, because we, we'd have to get through his green Zoltan shield. Let's just ignore the slaver and go to the next sector. Pirate control sounds good. I would have bought a slave. I mean, it, it's a good, amount of, like a, a good amount of money that we'd have to spend, and that would be the main issue that I'd have with well, it. Well... America was built on slavery, so... I... Yes, that's a valid point, I suppose. <laughs> um, so that's the reason for okay. this. Right. Makes sense. Uh, and by makes sense, I mean doesn't make any sense. But does it make... Dollars? Oh, god damn it, please. That, like, <laughs> got old after the first time. <laughs> Systems and creates... Oh, creates a hole breach. That's pretty good. Right, right, right. Breach Bomb does... Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, the bomb could do some system damage, which means that if I, like, upgraded that... Oh, I wouldn't have enough. But I can do this, and I wouldn't have quite enough power, but if I turn off my weapons, which sort of makes sense as to what I would be doing... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my basic laser for right now. If we need to, I will siphon power out of the engine, which is also not the best idea, but uh, it can be the best idea. Oh, God, never mind. All right, so we can't teleport. You know what our goal is right now? Our goal is to get the balls out of here. Um, That's my goal every day. Is it? Mm -hmm. Get the balls out of here. Uh, are you a, uh, ball retrieval list? No, I clean up ball pits. Ah, oh, that's like McDonald's ball living. pits. So I just gotta get the balls out. And <laughs> hey, you know, out of context, uh, gotta get those balls out. Cameron Ponzi at 2012. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I said your full name on YouTube. That That hurts. <laughs> I don't know if it hurts, but it's, Does, you know... Saying your name hurts? What are you, like, the candy man? <laughs> yeah, I'm Harry Potter, if, actually. If I, if if I say, if I say your like, name five times in the mirror, are you going to appear and, like, burn to death in front of me? No. No, I'm like, I'm like the anti-Harry Potter, where, like, if you say my name, then my scar hurts. Ah, I don't think that's how Harry Potter works. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not. Yeah, I think I think it does. I'm pretty sure it. I'm 91 uh, percent sure that it uh, is like that. I'm glad you tempered your uh, your probabilities there, because. <laughs> Going beyond 91% would have been a little bit too ridiculous. Like, if you had said 92, I would have been like, mm, you know, I'm going <laughs> to say that this man is probably lying. But when you're at 91, it's like, yeah, you know, I could see that. I could see 91%. All right, we're going to teleport on in there. It's plausible is the point. It is, right. 91% uh, entirely plausible. 92% and beyond, mm, a little bit too far. A little bit too far. <laughs> okay, so we may have to run away. No, we're good. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, we definitely... Oh, God. I should have stayed in there. Actually, I'm going to stay in there. Oh, uh, yeah, stay in there. No, no, no. Don't don't fight him. Oh, this is a bad. This is a bad. This is a bad right now. Okay. This is a bad? No. Okay, now I can go. Okay. <whistles> that was a close call. That was a close, close call. Um, but we could get the med bay online. Take off the basic laser, because it's completely unnecessary. Um, basically, they can't hurt us, so it doesn't really matter. We're just going and fight them. Plus, they don't have a med bay, so like, we can just go in and fight them again. Um, this does show me that I probably need to get an upgrade to our crew teleporter, however. Hey, couldn't you just like beam a million porcupines into their ship to kill them? I suppose... Were I to have a million porcupines <laughs> from yes. from like a nearby porcupine planet, a porcupine planet, that yeah, sounds like a, like an Asian treat. <laughs> racist again, yeah, Rob. That's not, that's not racist. racist. That was I. I thought. I swear to God, I have seen a porcupine before. It kind of yeah, sounds sure, like pork sure. bun. You were playing into the stereotype that all Asians eat porcupines. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I, I, I'll admit my racism there. I, I know that all uh, Asians are big fans of porcupine. Um, meat. I... Well, one, I'm going to take the teleporter off, because that's completely unnecessary, and we're just going to get the uh, laser firing at their weapons. I mean, they're going to hurt us. You should fire at things they really care about, like their families and... You I know. don't think our lasers reach that far. Also, I'm fighting an automated ship, so it's a robot. So I don't know what a robot would really care about. Maybe, um, maybe its creator. Father. No. no. Maybe a robot prostitute. Are robots very fond of their robot prostitutes? <laughs> no, this is like you just find that particular robot's vice, which is prostitutes in this case. Right. And shoot all the robot prostitutes. Ah, so now a uh, genocide. So yeah. we go from trying to harm one thing to genocide. That's the next step. Yeah. Admittedly, okay. it's it might be a little more difficult than just killing the ship, but right, a little bit, yeah. The, the emotional stakes will be higher. Right, right. That makes sense. I guess I'll go up here. But does have it a... make dollars? Oh God damn it! Please, <laughs> for the love of God, um. <laughs> Okay, that's reasonable. <laughs> we didn't have to do anything there. Aid the civilian ship. Do we have a fire on board? I hear a fire. Oh, hear ye, hear ye. Ding, 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 ding. That was a fryer. Mm. Oh, there is a fire. It's definitely a fire. Alright, so I'll put out the fire there. Hopefully there's no fires anywhere else. Oh, what happened there? Oh, there's a fire there. Okay. So there are for sure fires. Yeah, there are definitely fires all around. Contact this building ship. Cool, they gave me a bunch of stuff. That is awesome. Uh, you guys need to come back and deal with these goddamn fires. Goddamn fryers. <laughs> They're the worst at doing their monthly duties. Which is similar to monthly duties. But they do things bi-weekly. Um, I hear another fire around somewhere, which scares me. Oh, that was stupid. Let's just get them in here. And you guys can go look for... There's the fires! Okay, so we could put them out like so. 
There's a hull breach in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, indeed there is. Oh, yeah, don't want to go in there. No, still good. We might as well repair that hull breach. I mean, it's not that important to have it, but... I mean, it could totally screw the pooch on us. And, uh, no one wants to see their pooch screwed. That would be terrible. Yeah. I mean, by a human or another pooch? Because it depends. I mean, would you like to watch a dog screwing another dog? Is the real question that we need to ask ourselves <laughs> here. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd like to watch that a little more than I'd like to watch a human screwing a dog. How much more, though, is the real question. A lot more. Okay, good. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna. You know, I'm definitely gonna get more power so that now we could have the thing on. The question is, are there any stores? There is a store. Okay, cool. So let's go to the store real quick, and then we'll decide how we spend our money. Uh, before we do anything else, drone control sensors might not be a bad idea, actually. In fact, I think I'm gonna just get sensors. I'm also gonna probably repair. Then I'm probably gonna get some fuel, and then I'm not gonna have any money for anything else. But that's fine. Oh, come on, Rob. Way to squander all your gold and jewels and rupees. I don't think gold and jewels and rupees would be particularly effective in space. <laughs> they would, though. They're still equally valuable. Are they? Uh, no, probably not. There's probably a lot of gold somewhere in space. There's probably I doubt it's in planet. space. It's probably on a planet. Yeah, there's probably a planet made entirely of gold. That's entirely possible, I th think, and by that I mean it probably isn't, but I'm going to go <laughs> with it is. Well, I mean, it, it's it's not impossible, hopefully. I don't know. I've dreamed of living on that planet, and I will live there before oh, really? I die. That mm -hmm. would be a terrible world. Why would you want to live there? You'd probably live there for like five days. And then starve to death because nothing can grow on gold. No, well, I I would uh, have a new diet of only gold. A nude gold. diet, eh? Yeah, a gold diet. A newt diet of gold. A golden newt diet. Ah, so newts made of gold. Yeah, I would have to like melt the gold down, make it into a newt shape. Right, and then right. Eat it. You could theoretically eat gold, and by theoretically, I mean there's no theory behind it. I don't think anybody would ever publish a paper um, <laughs> about eating gold. But uh, gold is a weak enough metal that you could probably ingest it fairly easily. Um, I doubt that. But, I mean, yeah. well, uh, the question is, does it have any nutritional value? No. Well, I mean, yeah, to a degree. <laughs> I ever, I, like, like, we need a certain amount of gold in our system. Um, ah, that being strange. said, it's not very high. <laughs> well, so. I will I will train my body to only ingest gold. Well, that's uh, that's pretty impressive if you can manage to do that. It's not that difficult. Is it not? Yeah, I already did that with uh, Cheez-Its. <laughs> so you can only ingest Cheez-Its. Yeah, right now, but I'm gonna I'm planning on making the switch over to gold. Right. I'm just, it's a stepping stone kind of thing. First cheese it's then the uh, world. sunflowers. Then something closer to gold and then gold. Right, okay. Makes sense, yeah. I, I, it's good that there's a there's like a stepping uh system. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working my way up. Right, makes Evolution. sense. Evolution is a slow process. It is a slow process. <laughs> God damn it, we missed with the small bomb. Ugh. Hey, Captain. Yes? You're not the captain. <laughs> yes, I am. You only I... trust me as captain. Actually, Lagardi is the captain, my friend. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> You're Lagardi? This is yes. you? I'm gonna, like, yes. I'm gonna put you in the airlock and, uh, and open How it. Are you? Are you fucking kidding? Alright, fine. We, we're, we're not gonna win this fight. We will jump. Because, obviously, we can't hit anything, and it's going to take a million goddamn years. Uh... No. We will stay and fight. I'm the captain of this ship. Mm, we could fight this ship. I hope that isn't a laser that fires two shots. Because if it is, then we lose. If it's not, then we win. Hmm. 
That's that logic is uh, crushing. It should be. This fight's gonna take a long time, my friends. Well, while we're at it, we can kiss. <laughs> really? So that's a good, <laughs> no, that's that's a good awesome. way to pass the time. I feel like that's definitely how you uh, have gotten with any woman that you've ever gotten with in your life. Yeah, it's every like, every single hey. time I ever kissed a girl, I was like, hey, you know, like while we're doing this thing that is very boring, we should just kiss. <laughs> and, uh, and, Somehow uh, when you, know, you use the word kiss, it just makes it sound more hilarious. Yeah, well, uh, it hasn't worked yet, but uh, I, that will be how I do it. I haven't <laughs> One day anything. I shall kiss a girl. Why did you imitate me with, like, a really dweeby voice? <laughs> well, I was imitating a person who's never kissed a girl, really, uh, which is you, and that's how you sound, obviously. I mean, you've never heard yourself speak? Uh, no, I don't have ears, actually. Wow. So, that's probably why you can't kiss any girls. It. Also, you probably have pretty poor balance, I'd have to say. Yeah, I have bad balance. I can't hear things and I you know can't stick things in my ear holes so I just tried to stick something in my ear hole and hit my headset <laughs> yeah that would do it which is useless because I have no ears right Logic. also I can't wear sunglasses because they don't they have nothing to rest on right okay that makes sense so not even just you just straight up just don't have any ears were you born without ears this is the question uh no it was like a Van Gogh thing Oh, okay. So because you never kissed a girl. Yeah, I, I cut my ear off and sent it to a girl, and I was like, "Kiss me." Right. And she was like, "No." <laughs> Is that how, that's how she responded? Did she respond to that? Like it. Was it in grade three. It was in grade three. Oh, okay. You probably, you know, maybe I'm. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say that you probably overreacted a bit. <laughs> um. Well, actually, uh, uh, it wasn't that I overreacted. It was just. I uh, kind of overestimated the value of cutting off my ear and giving it to a girl. Right, yes. No, that's definitely... Um, yeah. Not currency for no. kisses? Yeah, no, definitely not, I'd have to say. Um, as far as things go, that probably isn't quite impressive to the female of the species. But it is slightly impressive. I, yeah, maybe. It's not quite impressive, but it is slightly impressive. Yeah, you could say that. I mean, it, it makes it leaves an impression. If you were to press it really hard into her skin, yes. <laughs> well, not a literal impression. I mean, I probably, you know, scarred her, sending her, uh, you know, a disembodied ear. That's true. I, you know, I never thought of that, but I suppose that is a pretty proper context for using the word disembodied. Yes, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, doesn't have a body, so I it's figured true. that would be um, an appropriate usage of the word. Ears generally do come with bodies. <laughs> generally, yes. Yeah, yeah. But not always. That's true, yeah, not always. Another one of those gray areas. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so we can go to the <laughs> store. Uh, ugh. I'm gonna go to the store. <laughs> okay, you can just just gonna head out to the store yeah, right now. I mean, I'm done. Just... <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm just gonna go to the store, guys. I'll see okay, you later. I'll take over the video. You just leave it recording. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Um, uh, scrap recovery arm might not be a bad idea. Reverse ion field also uh, might not be a bad idea. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need the scrap recovery arm. We also need, like, upgrades, but, like, you know, I'm going to go with scrap recovery arm. I don't know. We're, we're going to get a lot of scrap. So, I think... Oh, balls. You think of balls? I think of balls daily. That's good for you. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I thought of them, and uh, I like oh. thinking of them. Still on the balls, are we? Yes, we are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just realized something. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you are a poop, poop mouth. Oh, another timeless quip from Alpha <laughs> Patrol. <laughs> it's how I roll, man. 
a poop poop mouth. <laughs> you using that a poop poop mouth? Poop. <laughs> Just a poop poop mouth. Oh, gross. <laughs> a mouth of poop. All right. Success shall be had shortly. Sort of. Against that one ship that you were fighting like ten minutes ago? Uh, no, this is a different ship actually. Hmm. I see. Yes. Well, did you ever think th of kissing them to death? That, you know, that, that did not occur to me. Um, I'll say. Well, it's a terrible strategy, don't try it. Has it not worked for you in the past? Yeah, I tried it, but the guy just punched me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it, yeah. Bjorn is a pretty good fighter, I have to say. Solar flare imminent. Can we get out? No, we're not going to be able to get out. That's fine. Uh, let's get to the exit. It's sort of bad strategy to jump while you still have a fire on board, but likely... Uh, yeah, no, we're going to ignore that. Likely there's nothing here, and in fact, there is nothing there. Is this Bjorn? That is Bjorn. Okay. Bjorn! Yes. <laughs> You're Lagardi, not Bjorn. <laughs> oh, okay, I forgot. Gosh. Come on, man. You should know your own name by now. You're already... I'm the captain around here. You can't boss me around. You're already 47 years old. Did you guys all know that Cameron is 47 years old? Uh-huh. I am. <sighs> Man, I, I just recently had my midlife crisis in which I bought a giraffe. Really? Did you buy um, an albino miniature giraffe? No, no, no. He's a full-sized African giraffe. Ah, I see. <laughs> and is, so uh, I ride him to work. Is the African portion of it really necessary? Well, do giraffes live I mean, anywhere else? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I think... I think that, the, uh, well, actually, now one lives in America with me because I ride him to work. Right, right, makes sense, yeah. So By the way, I thought about African that, like, what, what, like, I've always wondered, like, oh, god damn it. Um, I've always wondered, god, our small bombs miss every time. Like, I wonder, oh, balls and dicks. Okay, we're still good. You've wondered balls and dicks. Yeah, I have. No, I've wondered, uh, like, like, is it possible for me to somehow get a license uh, to be able to um, ride a Kiss horse a instead of uh, ride a horse instead of like uh, driving a car or something? But, by yeah, the way, I, I, side note: in case you don't know, I live in New York City, so that's yeah, an important. Yeah, totally point. possible. I do. I we do have all... missed every shot of our small bomb. Every single one. Doors are down, which sucks, but yeah, all right, fine, might as well get it there. Come on, small bomb. Yeah, we finally hit. Okay, now we can fight him. Good. Did you know that uh, giraffes have the longest tail of any land mammal? I actually did not know that. Is that true? Uh, yeah, it is. Did you just make that up just now? Yeah, they can grow up to be like eight feet long. Wow. Yeah, fact check me. I refuse. And they also have no tear ducts, so they can't feel pain. I don't think that's how tear ducts work. Yeah, tear ducts are the source of all pain. Okay, Rob. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kiting my... Okay, we're good, we're good. Stay in here. Okay, teleport back. Uh, get the medray online, do some more damage. Also, giraffes have never been observed bathing. I, again, I don't think that that's true. I think you're making that up. <laughs> I'm not making any of this. I googled the giraffe facts. <laughs> There's no way that a giraffe, giraffe. There's no way that a giraffe has never been observed bathing. All right, I'll, I'll check my sources here. I'm going to just Google giraffe never bathe. And 
Um, these creatures have never been seen to bathe. How do giraffes bathe? We're gonna miss this, I'm sure. And How do giraffes... no, we didn't. Okay, good. And uh, they never bathe is the conclusion to that. Are they? Do they really never bathe? Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Okay. They just, they just kiss the dirt off of each other. Mm. You you seem to be uh, uh, preoccupied with uh, the word kiss today. <laughs> yeah, that's the word of the day. Is it? Oh, okay. So every time kiss you hear the word kiss, uh, does that mean that everyone has to take a shot? No, everyone just has to scream like in Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. Or Pee Wee's Playhouse. That'd be a really long name for the show if it was Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. You know what's a great movie, and if you've never seen it, you need to, is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I have definitely seen it, and you know what? I feel like you haven't seen it. I've seen it. No, I don't you think haven't you've seen you it. Just made Actually, it up. viewers at home, seriously though, if you've never seen Pee Wee's Playhouse, you, I mean, not, well, yeah, Pee Wee's Playhouse too, but um, Pee Wee's Big, Big Adventure. Event. It's so good. Yep, yep, that's a very good movie. I agree. I but don't watch uh... it because it's actually a porno. <laughs> I was just trying to—I was trying to trick you guys into <laughs> watching uh, pornography. I'm going to get some missiles, and I don't have anything else. Uh, some distress beacons. Might as well go there. Fighting mantises. Never the best strategy. Yeah, let's give them fuel. We just bought some. They gave us 35 scrap. I don't know if that actually works out properly. Uh, yeah, it works out every day. <laughs> uh, who's it in this scenario? <laughs> the, Cameron? the thing that... No. Me. <laughs> Not me. I was going to say me, but then... Ugh. That would be lying. Yeah. <laughs> So, I feel like I would get arrested by the FBI if I lied on the internet. That's, yeah, no, that's how it works. Yeah, my, that's how my brother got taken away and killed. Really? That's how far that they go, huh? <laughs> yeah, they take him away and kill him. If you lie on the internet, well. Yeah, it's, um, it's, like, it's like the Thought Police from 1984. Except lie police. Internet yeah. lies. Well... That's uh, a pretty terrible thing that I, you uh, told me. Mm-hmm, I know. It was pretty terrible. But I got over it, and so should you. Oh, god damn it! how come they have so many goddamn men on their ship? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys get back to the med bay. Heal up. We'll deal with these guys in a moment once we have our teleporter pads back online. You have teleporter pads? We do, yeah. <sighs> Wish I had some teleporter pads. Yeah, imagine, like, if we figure out how to teleport human beings, imagine how cool everything is going to be forever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, there, we will have, like, no need for, you know, travel, which is, you know, the first thing that would not be needed. Right. Also, we could move our cheeses quite quickly. That's true. That's cheese is probably the first thing the inventor of teleport would be thinking of. But I feel like once we invent teleporters, we're going to be able to travel in through time. I don't think that that no. I don't think that that's, uh, that, actually, um, they have figured out some forms of quantum teleportation, like, they teleported an atom, um, like, 20 miles or something, there might have been a proton. How did they do it? Oh, I don't know, I, I have no idea, I, like, really couldn't tell you, but, it's still pretty cool, I mean, the idea is there, at the very least. But, 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 Rob, how did they do it? Uh, that's a good question, Cameron. <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish you knew too, so that you would be useful to me. But you are not, and I am the captain of this ship, so I banish you. Cool, we remotely repaired that shop. That's good, I want to do that. Wait, you banish me? Yeah, I banish you from this ship. It's, it's my ship, and I'm taking control. I'm not on the ship. Yeah, but I banish you. You're like the you're like the 
deity of this ship, and so I now have banished all Rob worshipping. I see, right, that makes sense. And by it makes sense, I mean it doesn't make sense. But does it make dollars? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> did you hear the snap? I should. I did, yeah. I should just never, <laughs> ever say the word sense again. Really. I mean, but I'm not saying... Should say, you say you, the word no. dollars? God. <laughs> Everyone is going to unsubscribe to me, you realize this, right? Like, you've, you've single-handedly ruined my YouTube channel. <laughs> No one will ever watch me again. I want to go to that store, but we might not. I'm just be starting able to make a new a fad thing. right now as we speak. Is the cents and dollars fag fad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I apologize yep. uh, for. Yeah, uh, just I can't. I can't anymore. Ng controls. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go to the ng controls sector because I don't find mantises anymore. Mantis, one of us, one of us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. those were the mantis people. Oh, I see. Right. I, well, I, I assumed. Actually, no. Those were the cat people. Hmm. I'm a dog person. Yeah, yeah. The cat people just really enjoy cats, and they want other people to join them. Rage Mountain. Let's hey, just if do you that. Could, if you could be any animal in the world, which animal would you be? Uh, the um, it's a good question. Maybe a whale. <laughs> That's the lamest. I would be um, I would be one of those tiny microscopic organisms that live forever and can't die unless it's by accident or you know some some outside force i don't think those beings exist they do they do exist you keep you keep you know refuting every cool thing <laughs> that i say i mean you have access well if you're making them up i want to be a vampire i'm just going to say that probably doesn't exist okay here we go I'm gonna find this. Are any organisms immortal? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, there's a picture of a turtle, so I would like to be a turtle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Well, we don't. I mean, the turtles aren't are, aren't immortal. They're. Uh, we don't know how long they live. Rob, it says right here on the internet that <laughs> turtles are immortal. Do you really think people would do that? Do you think people will just go on the internet and tell lies? Um, I already told you that the FBI arrests you and kills right, you. Right, that's true, yeah. So I'm sure, uh, capital punishment always solves any problem. Sorry, that just went to a darker place. <laughs> <laughs> just another topical, uh, place. It's unnecessary. Um, you know what my favorite topical place is? What is that? Uh, uh, the Sunday bar... In the no. ice cream store. I don't think... What, the what? <laughs> oh, the Sunday bar. Okay, I was thinking of the day. Only open on Sundays. Uh, I'm looking for less incompetent captain to investigate. Alright. Oh, it's in the next sector. Okay, fair enough. I, I am think... not incompetent. Uh, you are incompetent. But, that is irrelevant. Um... Nice, we got 45 scrap, that is ballin'. We're getting a lot of good stuff, I wanna say, which is great, because that's allowing us to really do some good things. Like, we could get our basic laser online. We get the Breach Bomb online as well, which is, uh, you know, a potential option, but, I don't know. I do know, Rob. Hmm. Wait. We could fight them, but they have teleporters, and they have two beams and a basic laser. That laser uh, could potentially... You know what? Let's aid the civilian ship. I don't know if that's a dual... Yeah, it totally is. Okay, so we're in a dangerous position right now. But we're going to wait for them to teleport to us. Okay. I'm back. Then we're going to go kick their asses. All right, that's good. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Um, I am fighting. Are you eating something? Or drinking something? Uh, 
No, I was just killing a small turtle. Oh. Well, <laughs> hmm. But he deserved it. He killed my family. Okay. So. Killed that little bastard. Okay, both of them actually... Oh, that's bad. Uh, we might have lost someone right now. No, we're good. NG, desperately, need your help. Repair that med bay. Okay, see, that's the issue, is that, that... That's why I said we were in a dangerous position. Because if they can hit both shots and then fire their beams, then they can uh, destroy us. But, um... The odds of that are somewhat unlikely. Hey, did you know that I have, um, William Shakespeare in me right now? I don't want to ask <laughs> what that means. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, like, at least a couple thousand of the atoms that make up my body used to be in William Shakespeare's body. Actually, you know, there's about a one in, I think, two, oh god, sorry, sorry about that. Um, I think there's about a one in 200 chance that you are, um, a descendant of Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah, I knew that because he was, uh, Playa Playa. Yeah, yeah, that's a way. To... That was the Mongolian way to phrase it. Oh, right, yes, that's, <laughs> that's in ancient Mongolian. <laughs> playa Playa! Uh, defense run mark one. Halberd beam is good. Hmm. That can be used effectively, but it requires three power. Yeah. That's probably something to sell, to be honest with you. Oh, I thought you were going to lie. <laughs> Sometimes I like to lie. Uh, <laughs> so you have to qualify that one statement. So this whole video is a lie besides that one statement. Right, yeah, yeah. The rest the rest of it I've been lying this entire time. Wow. I feel yep. so ugh, misled. You should. Because I've been and misleading disgusted. you. Um, we're oh, god damn it. We're gonna just try to live here because uh the 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 idea is these guys actually can't uh, like, they, they don't give us anything besides fuel, so we're gonna take as many hits as we're gonna take, uh, and hope that that's not a lot. Turns out, hmm. it seems like it's a lot already. Ugh, yeah, we need oxygen more than anything else. There's a fire in here, which is terrible. Get to the med bay. I'll make the fire go away like so. Okay, weapons are down, not a huge deal. These guys are very powerful, though. They're kind of wrecking us. Okay, and can we jump before that? Nope, we can't. That's really unfortunate. Okay, we could jump at least before the uh, missile hit us, which is nice. However, everything is down. Um, probably get the sensors online so I know what's going on, where the fires are and whatnot. Because there are fires, I can hear them. <laughs> That sounds like a strange statement. I don't know why. Uh, I can hear the fires. I mean, you can generally hear fires. I'd have to imagine. Um, Rob, you're in space. That's true. There is no sound in space, but within the confines of your ship, you can hear whatever your ship. Is. Rob, Rob, oxygen doesn't permeate sound. All right, you're, you sound like a fool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the astronauts can talk to each other inside of space. Inside Rob, everyone knows sound can only be on Earth. Ah. I should have I should have read my science books. Yeah, I gave you all those science books to read, written by me, and you didn't. It's true, I didn't, and I should have, and I'm sorry for that. Stupid Rob. Ruined Robland. What? <laughs> that didn't was, make any sense. I was hoping that you would catch a very obscure reference. And by uh -huh. obscure reference, I mean that I uh, poorly phrased the reference. Basically, it's a Simpsons reference of... Mm. Uh, of, of, uh, the, well, oh god, what the, what, oh, damn it, what's the name of the janitor? 
Willy? Uh, Willy, yeah, yeah. yeah, Willy. Yeah, uh, when, <laughs> when he's like, Damn, Scots! Ruin Scotland! Yeah, that was... You didn't even do it in a Scottish I, You know what? I, I realized this. I mentioned it, and I'm sorry. That was horrible. <laughs> I tried my best, and I think that's the important <laughs> bit. Well, uh, no, actually. It's not... How do they have so many crew members? Actually, uh, you know what? We're gonna put our breach bomb on. We're gonna get our breach bomb on, guys. I don't know why that made me start a <laughs> dance party. A <laughs> uh, breach bomb, the new hit single from <laughs> Justin the breachy Spears. Breachy boys. The breachy boys. Yep, that's them. <laughs> Oh. Um, okay, so problem, breach bomb almost charged, secondary problem, I don't really want to fire it, but that's fine, I'll fire the, uh, now I'll fire, fire the small bomb, there, get ready for our boarding party. Oh, boarding party! Mmm, <laughs> you guys are doing a lot of damage, we could nearly die actually, which would be terrible. Unless we don't... Yep, if we miss. Yeah, that's... Okay, so we can jump out. Because otherwise, we're dead. Well, I mean, if someone dies at the party, then it's a total buzzkill. So, please, control your death. Can't help it. Um, okay, so, problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are almost dead. Mm, ah. Yeah, we're dead. Oh no, okay, we're almost dead. Please hit. There Are you, you gonna go. die? No, we seem good right now. Especially since we have to fight system repair drones. That's gonna, yeah, that was easy. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, well. <laughs> wow. I tried. That probably is the best I've done with the Mantis Cruiser, though, I think. 1707. Well. Yep, no, that's definitely it. 1707. I do not like Mantis Cruiser, man. The USS Crustaciano. That was a good year. That was a good year. Uh, Cameron, of course, is a timeless vampire. Uh, yeah, yeah. In case you guys were curious. Um, no, I'm an immortal organism. I already told you this. Right, you're a turtle. No! Oh, yeah, turtles, yeah. No, no. <laughs> I did... No! Yes, I am. Actually. And I ride a giraffe to work. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, for a, a turtle with such dexterity. All right, anyway... Um, uh, that's a good place to end it because, I mean, we lost. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Sorry about Cameron. Um, I can't believe our time is up already. I know, I know. I was just getting the, the party started up in here. <laughs> All right. Cameron is slowly melting uh, every because he's actually a, a, a flesh beast that I only form... Uh, through the, uh, the use of electricity uh, every time I need him to be on an episode of a Let's Play, and he just melts at the end uh, into a vat. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry that Cameron exists. And, um... <laughs> I hate you so much. And, uh, yeah. Um, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.